Good morning. It's Christy Eggers bringing you your magnanimous Monday Rewind from Crystal. This was originally recorded on November 2013, and it's called Have To or Get To. So enjoy and have a great day. Hey, ladies, it's Crystal Walker, soon-to-be national sales director. Oh, I didn't even talk to you guys. And welcome to your million-dollar message. It is a magnanimous Monday, and I am super excited to be talking to you. And I am just so pumped about what I'm going to share with you tonight. And I am just feel so grateful and honored to get to pass on something that is working in my life and something that has been brought to me in the last few weeks. I've really been trying to change my thinking and I'm sitting um, at church over the weekend. I actually served on the worship team, leading worship at my church, Elevate Life Church, and we had an awesome guest speaker with our mission weekend this weekend, really spotlighting all the missions that my church does. And we have Matthew Barnett. If you don't know who Matthew Barnett is, oh my gosh, he is just a firecracker. He is a passionate, excited, amazing man, truly changing lives. He started the Dream Center in Los Angeles, uh, just snapped out in the middle of the ghetto, and he's just done unbelievable things, just really um not only just helping people in need, but also turning people to the kingdom. And it's just, it was so awesome. It was such a powerful um, weekend. And when I get to serve, I get to uh, be through three services. And so it was really, really powerful. And I'm so excited, though, because, you know, if you ever uh, sit in a moment where something was taught to you or said to you, and then very quickly you hear it again. And then another time you hear it again. Well, that's something to never ignore because what God does is that he confirms things with us three different times. So if anyone's ever given you a word and then it was confirmed and you heard it a couple of different times, that's God confirming, hey, I am trying to get you to do this. I'm trying to get you to listen. I'm trying to get you to see this. And so for me, this was something that that truly this message did. And so, you know, one of the things is it's so important in an American business and in life that if you want to lead people, you have to serve them. And really, truly learning to serve others. And also be excited about what God is doing. What is he doing in your life? Where are you at? Even if you kind of cringe at where you're at. You're like, Crystal, I am so not where I want to be. Don't be excited about what God is doing. You know, in Hebrews 12, 2, in the Bible, one of the things that it says was, fix my eyes on Jesus, and that there was joy that was set before me. You know, finding that joy that also fixing those eyes on Jesus. And, you know, in all honesty, when you're a chosen people, you are chosen. If you are doing this career, and you have a dream in your heart, and it is so big that it, your heart can even contain it, you are chosen and realizing that when you are chosen, you will pay a price. And so being ready to fulfill that and to pay the price, you guys, it's not just going to be given to you. It's not just going to be handed to you. It is a price to pay. And that you are a product of people praying for you. I know that is so true for me. I'm a product of people praying for me. You know, I think that's one of the biggest blessings that I can say, uh, coming from, you know, the, the legacy of my mom and from my great-grandmother from my mom and that um, I had a legacy of people praying for me. And do you realize, even if today you can't truly honestly name one person who is specifically praying for you, someone out there is praying for you even though they don't even know it's you. Somebody is praying for you. And so you're surprised that people praying for you and just rest in that and know that. But here's the deal, you guys. Here's where the real stuff comes in, y'all. Have you ever felt like quitting? Okay. Seriously. I mean, I'm being totally serious. Raise your hand right now wherever you're at. Have you ever felt like quitting? Even if it was, like, for half a second. Maybe it was for a minute. Maybe it was for half a day. Maybe it was for a day. Maybe it was for a week. Maybe you thought about quitting for a month. But have you ever felt like quitting? And you literally were just like, I'm done. I quit quit. I mean, seriously, have you ever thought about it? I mean, I know I have that time where I'm like, you know what? I just I just want to quit doing this call. I do not want to record this call anymore. Y'all, it is coming in a split second because it is. It's a commitment. It's it's an arm. It's also a commitment. It's something that, that I, you know, get and sometimes I feel like I have to do every single week or, 
even in your business, you've just been like, you know what? I just feel like nothing I do is worth it. So here's the deal, you guys. There are times where God is going to take you to a place where you want to quit because he is ready for you to come into the moment to throw in the towel. And when you throw in the towel, I'm going to send you another one. How about that? When you come to that moment, if you attempt even, have you ever attempted to throw in the towel and you like threw it back in your face or you felt it, he threw you a new towel in your face? Maybe you're there right now. Or maybe he sends someone or something to you to keep you going. Maybe that's today. Maybe it's a phone call right now that he has sent me to send you a message today to keep you going. Now, here's the deal, you guys. You've got to have a change in your thought process. But literally, we have to change our mind. Change those neural paths that go through our brain, the way that we are thinking, and start thinking, what's one of the first things that I said today? One of the first things that I said is if you want to leave people, you have to serve them. So start saying this, I get to serve you. Do you realize with this call, it is an honor. I get to serve you. We started this call for our units, for our very own units, so that they could hear from, you know, six of us, five other, me plus five other sales directors, so that they were getting all these different personalities and ideas. And now we have up to 10,000 people that are listening a day, shut the front door, to this call. I get to serve you. So I want you to say that right now. I get to serve you. Now, you could be a lot of different things for you, but say it. I get to serve you. And then say, I get to serve others. Let it resonate on you. Write that down today somewhere. I get to serve others. And, you know, the thing is, is that us people, we can change the environment of any community of any meeting, of any space. You go to the grocery store today, you can change the environment of it. If you go pick up your kids from school, you walk into the office, you can change the environment. You walk into a doctor's office, you walk into the rare team meeting, you walk into a skincare class, you walk into someone's house, anywhere you go, you walk into the mall, you can change the environment. You know, here's the thing, you guys. A person just like you, who saw and believed in someone else like me. Are you going to be that person? A person just like you saw something and wanted to believe in someone else just like you. So it's time to take you from the have to to the get to. Now, how many times, this is my challenge for you today, to keep in check for the rest of the week how many times you say, I have to, I've got to. I should. All of a sudden, you are just completely on an obligation frame of mind. But you've got to take that have to to I get to. For instance, one of my challenges, y'all know me, oh, I can get vulnerable, vulnerable and real. I have to get personal booking. That's one of my challenges this week. But it's the key is, is to change it to I get to. To change the have to to a get to. We get to. So right now, I just want you to stop whatever it is that you're doing and just close your eyes. And I want you to literally just say a really fast prayer with me and just say, God, take me from the have to to the get to. Change my attitude from a have to attitude to a get to attitude. Amen. Write that down today. Change me from a have to to a get to. Because if you think, if you keep thinking have to, at some point, you will stop. You will stop doing what it is that you need to do because nobody wants to do the have to. You know, only for a short amount of time will we continue to do the have to. So you've got to get taken to the get to. You know, if you ever looked at scheduling or, you know, maybe something that you had coming up or maybe a change, like I have some changes going on right now and I am, you know, there's a dread or a fearful, but instead, Gosh, y'all, I'm just speaking to myself right now. I just love when I do these calls. I think I learn more than y'all do. <laughs> but instead of looking at things with dread or being fearful, look forward to the difficult situations. And you guys, it is so 
challenging to do that, but God has given us the strength and he's given us the power. It says in his word that God has given us a, a strength to have a power and a love and a sound mind, guys. Wow. Have you ever found yourself having pity parties? Now, do you realize there's only one attendee in your pity party? And it's you, okay? <laughs> and when you're in the middle of a pity party, what is the quickest thing that you can do? Pity party equals immediately serve someone else. Immediately serve your way out of a pity party. Literally, if you are feeling bad, go find a situation or a way to serve somebody else. Maybe it's you see somebody sitting alone at a coffee shop or you see somebody needing help at the grocery store or whatever it can be. It doesn't have to mean that you go take somebody a meal or it doesn't have to be financial, but whatever it is, serve yourself out of a pity party. Okay? Now, the thing is, is how to get out of a have to and turn it into a get to is it is true, though, that have to is a felt obligation to do a task. You get to. You don't have to make booking. You don't have to do anything in our business. But if you don't learn how to get to do it, you won't have a business anymore. So find that joy that I talked about at the first in Hebrews 12. Joy when you stretch yourself. Joy when you do something that no one else is doing. Joy when you get more out of something that you should have only gotten a little out of. Joy. Are you finding joy? And you don't want to live ordinary. You get to do the hard thing while everyone else is doing the easy thing. Like, think about that. You are going to choose to get to do the hard thing while everybody else is doing the easy thing. You know, do these things and tell about our opportunity. Do your business. Do every single thing like you actually honestly believe that every single person cares. Because whether they care or not, the right person will care. And share your victories and share love with others. You know, the last thing that I want to say is, is how many people feel invisible? I mean, think about that. How many people really, truly feel invisible in this world? And do you realize that you can be a light of God? You can be like a flashlight, literally a flashlight to others. Imagine yourself as a flashlight. And there's this invisible person that just needs something done for them, needs to be served. Instead of a have to, you get to shine your flashlight on somebody else. Shine on others. They are waiting to be in the spotlight. Do you realize when you make the decision to take the spotlight off yourself and put it on someone else, you truly are changing your attitude from a have to to a get to? It is our privilege to get to serve. So so discover the get to, and what's going to happen is then your call truly will begin. Call in your life truly will begin when you learn how to get to a get to attitude. I hope that today you take those challenges and that you really start thinking about how you get to do this business. What the honor it is to do it. And to really be aware of how many times you're saying have to must to gotta I say gotta a lot, y'all. <laughs> I gotta do this. I have to do this. So Let's do this together. Why not? Let's walk through this together. I am so proud of you. I cannot wait to hear what your week is like after you have chosen to look at your business as a get-to instead of a have-to. Raise your hands high in the air. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May you know that if God is for you, who can be against you? With God on your side, whom shall you fear? May you be like a tree that is planted by rivers of living water whose leaf will not wither, and whatsoever you do, say it with me, magnanimous Monday girl, it shall prosper. Have a great day.